Read and follow all labels and the owner's manual carefully before installing or operating your machine. Hi, I'm Brent Williams with Miller Electric. I'm going to demonstrate how to access and apply the setup menus found in Miller, Maxstar, and Dynasty welders. Setup menus provide added functionality and flexibility for specific applications. Depending on when the unit was manufactured, accessing the setup menus can vary slightly. So it's always a good idea to have your owner's manual as a reference when making these adjustments. Parameters that can be adjusted in the setup menu include arc starts, waveforms, parameter lockouts, and more. To access the setup menu, push and hold the A button and press the gas dig button like this. From this point, you're able to cycle through the different selections by pressing the gas dig and make changes as needed. Some parameters have more than one setting. You'll access these by pressing the A button when you're in that particular item. High frequency arc starts are set according to tungsten diameter and preset for 332 tungsten which is displayed as .094. This is a universal setting that works well for most applications. However, if you're using a different size tungsten and you experience any issues, simply dial in your arc start based on your tungsten diameter. Keep in mind that settings for smaller diameter tungstens produce lower amperage arc starts, while settings for larger diameter tungstens produce higher amperage starts. As you dial through tungsten settings, you'll notice the general setting, which is abbreviated GEN. This allows custom arc start settings. Only use this setting if your application requires it. AC waveforms can also be adjusted in the Dynasty. There are four different waveforms to choose from to optimize the arc characteristic for your application. These include soft square, advanced square, triangle, and sine wave. Each waveform has different characteristics. Soft square is the factory default and can be used for most applications. However, if you're looking for a specific arc characteristic, you may want to research these further in your owner's manual or on MillerWelds.com and try them out. Remote trigger options can also be set in this menu. Selections configure how the remote will step through the weld sequence. Options include 2T, which is basic trigger hold, along with 3T, 4T, mini logic, and momentary configurations. For a complete description of how each trigger method works, refer to your owner's manual. You'll find additional items in the setup menu that may be useful for certain applications or simply as a reference. These include spot or weld time, open circuit voltage settings, stuck check for stick welding, parameter locks, and meter calibration. More information on these items is available in your owner's manual. To exit the setup menu, press and hold the A button while pressing the gas dig button. This explains the setup menu in Miller Dynasty and Maxstar welders. This information will help you get the most out of your machine. If you have additional questions, make sure to visit MillerWelds.com and click on the Resources tab. Thanks for watching.